Hello and welcome to another aviation adventure. Five years ago, I took a trip on the national airline of Saudi Arabia. And what I saw was rather disappointing. The planes were dated, the crew knew nothing about service, food was dull, and Jeddah Airport was one of the most feared transit experience. Five years later, I'm back and I couldn't quite believe my eyes. And I feel like I traveled on a whole different airline. How? Can Saudi Arabia change so dramatically in such a short period of time? Well, let me introduce to you the world's most improved airline. Today we are departing from Amsterdam, an airport at near collapse this summer, so let's see how it goes for us today. So guys, and here we are inside the airport and um, everything seems to be back to normal and fairly organized. And now let's check in for the Saudia experience. Hey, can I check in with you? Yes. Uh, Saudia? Give me one second. Okay. Hi. Awesome, thank you. So guys, and I am airside from receiving my boarding pass to getting here, 10 minutes. So it was rather easy, though I was really worried. I came here six hours prior departure to the airport because of Monday, the airport was near collapse again. There were long lines, people missed their flights, uh, flights were canceled, total chaos. But right now it seems all good, but I can't vouch for it. Maybe it's gonna go back uh, to madness sometime this week or next month who knows but as a saudi business class passenger you have access to the klm lounge here which we're going to check out saudi is part of the sky team so if you happen to fly on business class with them you will have access to the klm lounge since i had plenty of time to kill i thought you guys wouldn't mind a quick lounge review before we head to our gate Thank you. I will. So, and I just made it to the KLM lounge, which is huge. It's on two floors, offers everything that you need a bar, a buffet, a business center, internet, uh, even a museum. So, as far as it gets for a European airline lounge, it's pretty awesome. I also just bumped into a subscriber from Indonesia who happens to be on the same flight like me. Uh, and yeah, probably gonna spend an hour or two here and then probably going to head to the gate and then we are off to Jeddah. I've been flying Saudi before in 2018 and back then Jeddah was one of the worst airports in the world but now since they have the new airport open and I heard so many great stories about it uh, they seem to have improved their transiting game um, as well because transiting at the old airport in Jeddah I mean probably a lot of you know absolute nightmare <laughs> Saudi Arabia went to an extensive renewal of its fleet and added over 2787 Dreamliners to its fleet, but it also means new modern and updated cabin. Much better than the old outdated 777 that I have flown from Jeddah to Jakarta in 2018, but more about it once I'm on board. Wrong flight. <laughs> Today's plane is a 787-9, which has been in service for almost 7 years. Flight time is roughly 6 hours. So let's go and board this beautiful Dreamliner to Jeddah. Hi. Hey, how are you? Good. Nice to see you. I think that's six, exactly. six Lima, right? There you go. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And here we are. Welcome on board Saudi Arabia's brand new business class. This plane features 24 seats in a one-to-one -one reversed herringbone configuration, which means every seat comes with direct aisle access. Hi, how are you? Thank you, thank you. Very good. How are you? I'm good, sir. 
I didn't know Saudi has a chef on board now. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, we will make your journey very nice and hope you will like it. Definitely, definitely. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Once I was welcomed by the newly introduced Sky Chef, the crew is handing out hot towels as well as noise cancelling headphones. Nice. At this you. point, I was very impressed by the attentiveness and friendliness of the cabin crew, being very service oriented. At this point, I knew that this was going to be a very good flight. Hello, sir. Hey. Michael, did she ask you about your juice? Uh, no, not ah, yet. No? What do you we have? We have orange, we have also pineapple, uh -huh. uh, berries, and also smoothie dates. Uh, I have the pineapple. pineapple Thank you. Is there Josh? Uh, Josh, just uh, Josh. Josh? Josh is Perfect. the easiest one. <laughs> it's a bit hard. Josh, <laughs> you're from where? Um, Russian? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm from Australia originally, oh, but no, I grew up in Germany. Oh, well, Perfect. my grandmother is from the Ukraine. Nice so. like no, 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 no problem. Nice, uh, Aziza. Aziza, nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah. I know only some words. That's is like uh, That's good. Much, um, much better than my Arabic. <laughs> yeah. I, if I remember something else, I'll let you know. All I know is yalla. <laughs> oh, it's Lebanese. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, very good. Are you from, are you from Saudi? Or? I'm from uh, Morocco. Morocco, oh, nice. She's from uh, Tunisia. Tunisia, oh, yes. international crew international today. International airline. Everyone. Of course, right? Everyone. The best. <laughs> exactly, there you go. Thank you. Let me know if you need anything. Thank, Thank you so much. Josh. Thank you. Thank you. So guys, and here we are, welcome on board Saudia. And I can't recognize this airline anymore. No comparison to what I've flown five years ago. Super lovely, kind, chatty crew. Even a cabin manager, when he saw me filming, he was like, isn't that a beautiful cabin? Five years ago, they would have thrown me off the plane. That's how suspicious they were. So great first impression very welcoming i got a, uh, a welcome drink they had a couple of juices i was handed an amenity kit and also the seat is pretty impressive so let me give you a quick little seat tour saudi's new seat features everything you need to have a good journey from a universal power outlet a usb slot lots of storage space a personal entertainment screen combined with noise cancelling headphones the seat appeared very clean and well maintained. Also, the in flight entertainment was offering plenty of choice from Hollywood to Bollywood and beyond. The offering was indeed very impressive. Oh, of course. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Of course. Beautiful. Thank you so much. And of course, a good traditional Arabian coffee as a welcome drink. Stunning. I love the smell of the Arabian coffee. So unique. It's the smell of the Middle East. It was then time to be pushed back for an on-time departure out of Amsterdam. But it's also a good time right now to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more aviation adventures in the future. Or perhaps check out my Patreon page for some cool extra perks such as joining my WhatsApp group or early access to my YouTube videos. Today's video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN. By using a VPN, you surf the internet safe and anonymously, and you get around censorship all around the world. What do you want to use Instagram in China, make WhatsApp calls in Dubai, or access TikTok in India? And it works on all of your devices too. My favorite perk is finding cheaper flight deals by simply changing my IP address with Surfshark VPN, saving me hundreds of dollars every year. Surfshark also helps me to watch all sorts of live streams, sport events, and gives me access to all Netflix libraries from all around the world. Match day 34 in the 
And the great news is, by using the link in the description box below, you will get 83% off and three additional months for free, which is a great offer. Now, let's go back to the review. So guys, we are 20 minutes into the flight and on today's menu, we have chicken, beef, beef filet, um, steak, as well as fish and a vegetarian option. Just be reminded, and once again on Saudi, just as Kuwait airline, it is a dry airline, so there's no alcohol available. Um, for me, that's not a deal breaker, but I know for a few of you guys it is. Um, also enjoying the in-flight entertainment, which is really nice, and I'm watching Top Gun Maverick, which I watched twice in the cinema, one of the best movies I've seen in the past five years. So very much recommend you uh, to watch this one as well. And now we're gonna see what uh, the dining um, options here are and how good they are. I remember five years ago, the food wasn't very overwhelming on Saudi But so far, the service is amazing. The crew is really engaging. The crew is really lovely. Uh, they're smiling. They're trying really hard. And we have crew from the Philippines, from uh, Tunisia, from Morocco, all over the place. I think even Romania, because when the cabin manager uh, made an announcement, he said our crew speaks several languages, and one of them was Romanian as well. So, yeah love to see where Saudi is going with the whole concept and so far it's very convincing but let's wait for the food can swap. <laughs> That's okay. That's fine. Thank you. All good. All good. Thank you. So and here we are. I have a beautiful looking steak sitting right in front of me. So in terms of presentation, this is outstanding. Actually too good to eat actually. I should just take it home. <laughs> that is uh, that's stunning. Really well done. Once again, in comparison to what I was served five years ago, this is amazing because now they introduced the Sky Chef as well. Perhaps you have seen it on uh, Turkish Airlines, for example. So he's pretty much in charge of the presentation and that looks beautiful. So let's see what it tastes like. But from the looks, very, very promising. And the sun is right, shining right in my face. <laughs> let's dig in. Beautiful. Well done. Loving it. So in Tehran, things up. I was just served this beautiful cheese platter, which looks amazing in presentation. And I think this is pretty much what Saudi has become: an airline that cares, an airline that really tries to satisfy its customers, an airline that has been through such a transformation in the past five years that it's hard to believe from a 222 falling apart seats on the 777 to reversed herringbone, really nice and service-oriented crew, a Sky Chef, 
and even a cabin manager who roams through the cabin with a huge smile on his face and making sure that everyone is having a good time on here. And uh, it's no comparison to what I've been on five years ago. And this is great and this is lovely to see that Saudi has gone to such a change and it's like it's visible you can feel it it's everywhere right and I think this is what this cheese platter is all about you look at the garnish and how nice it's presented they care and considering what I paid the price for this flight 400 euros return business class flight so this is beyond amazing so I can't complain and uh, well done Saudi you your hard work paid off and I'm very happy to share this with my audience so right now we're cruising over Greece the Sun has set uh, we have still three hours to go until we touch down in Jeddah went to the galley for a quick chat with the crew and they're all such lovely people literally from all over the globe India Philippines Tunisia Morocco so and a very happy team also the cabin manager came by and I had a chat with him and I, I told him how much it has changed and how great it is to see and he was uh, very happy and I literally told him you know five years ago I wouldn't have seen you as a cabin manager they were from Saudi they were always like hiding in the in the galley and now it's just great to see how proactive they are and really try to provide an experience and I also got an amenity kit let's have a look inside as well but let's also have a look at the amenity kit it features quite a few goodies such as lip balm a wooden comb a toothbrush with toothpaste lens wipe as well as a pair of socks and a bra I mean a face mask <laughs> overall it has everything you need for a comfortable flight and of course uh, a loo review here on the 787-9 they also have dash 10s uh, one of the few dash uh, 10 operators in the world there aren't many uh, Singapore Airlines Saudi KLM and United I think and this is what it looks like it's all right it's spacious doesn't have any special amenities other than hand cream and what do we have here facial mist huge fan of facial mist but uh, yeah two more hours to go and uh, then it's time for our transit in Cheddar where I'm very very excited I heard a lot of great things about the new airport and apparently they have the biggest aquarium in the world there so let's see what we can find that as well and then we're gonna check out the lounge and then uh, you're in for a 320 uh, business class review as well for the remaining um, journey today to uh, Dubai. So 45 minutes to go until we touch down in Jeddah. And also the seat is super comfortable, especially when you go flat. Got a little blanket, a pillow, and the crew came by to give me some chocolate. So uh, much appreciated. Uh, yeah, to summarize this flight, uh, it was good. It's on par with uh, all the great airlines in the Middle East, uh, and uh, it's nice to see that they are doing really well. And it, it, it comes, it comes from the heart. That is really nice to see. I'm sure you all remember what nightmare the old Jeddah Airport was. So I think that's going to be a highlight, and then the 320, and uh, yeah, not much that I can say to you guys other than that I'm a happy customer. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Josh. Josh? Yeah, Josh Lang? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs>
Man, I, I watch all your videos. Do you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How are you? And here we are. Welcome to Jenner's brand new airport. And my first impression? Wow, a lot better than the old one. So let's go explore. How are you? I'm good. How about you? Very good. Thank you. There's, there's, isn't there a big aquarium here somewhere? No, it's not in the departure area, in the arrival area. Oh, it's an arrival. So, so if you if arrival... You die, you will see. Ah, right. Okay. <laughs> because I was wondering, I thought it would cool. Next time then. Awesome. Cheers, mate. Thank you. So and here we are at the new Jeddah airport, now also inside the lounge. Beautiful, um, spotless, everyone seems really kind, easy transit experience and it seems like the lounge has a lot to offer as well. Uh, they have a bar, obviously they don't serve alcohol there. Um, they had like a gaming room and uh, yeah, you can dine here, you can uh, relax, have a kid's corner. It's pretty impressive. Not bad, not bad. Probably my favorite here at the lounge, the little robots, <laughs> self-service. All right, boarding in 15 minutes. Uh, now we're gonna have a 320 review. It was then time to head to the gate again after a short visit to the lounge to board the second flight to Dubai, this time on their Airbus A220. I still remember my flight on their old 320s back in the days, and the cabin was old and dated. The in-flight entertainment broken, and overall, it wasn't that impressive of a product. But on this flight, we will get to see their new 320 cabin. So let's go. You're on the video now. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> Hello, good evening. Third seat in the left. Thank you. Hello, good evening. And here we are. Welcome on board Saudi Air's regional business class. Featuring 12 recliner seats and you probably noticed it looks a lot better than the older ones. So guys, and here we are, welcome on board on the Airbus A320 with 12 recliner seats. They have the same plane than you with um, flat beds as well, which they operate on flights to uh, Europe, for instance. But for a short hop, two and a half hour hop to Dubai, this is just perfectly fine. Each seat features a personal entertainment screen, a proper recline as well as noise cancelling headphone. But it was then time again for another pushback to continue our journey to Dubai on this very late flight. If you still haven't subscribed yet and you're still watching, I guess you kinda like my content. So go ahead and subscribe, I won't tell anyone. So we are 20 minutes into the flight. I have a hot meal in front of me. Um, there wasn't a menu, but I could choose between chicken breast and fish with rice. So I went for the fish. Though I'm not that hungry, um, but I simply just ordered it so I can <laughs> show you what it looks like. Um, but overall, on this flight, the crew is a bit more reserved, um, but like the seat is very comfortable they gave out blankets and pillows and uh, yeah can't really complain now I'm gonna try the fish let's see what the catering is like on this flight and then in two hours we'll be on the ground in Dubai and I'm at a point right now where I'm like quite tired and ready to go to bed and sleep doing flight reviews isn't fun at this time of the day <laughs> all right have a little snack and then try to sleep a bit as well.
So, and here I am, a beautiful good morning. It is 6 a.m. in Dubai, and I am at the Marriott Courtyard, uh, next to the World Trade Center. Beautiful view. All right, um, that's it. That was my Saudi flight, and I uh, loved it. Great, great experience. So if you're not sure whether you should book yourself in Saudi because your question is, ah, can I, can I, can I survive a dry airline? Um, yeah, that's 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 a valid point. But um, the product is great. I loved it. Food, cabin crew, the seat, uh, even the transit experience in Jeddah was very pleasant. The lounge is brilliant. So so overall, impressive. What the what transition this airline went through. So and uh, I'm. I can strongly recommend them. I uh, don't think you can go wrong flying with Saudi these days. And given the price, you know, there is absolutely zero complaints. So once again, thank you so much to my lovely crew on the first flight. You guys have been wonderful, really enjoyed it. And uh, if you want to check out my extra perks, join my WhatsApp group or have your name in the credits or get my Cahill key ring, uh, check out my Patreon page. Uh, it's always nice to have you guys uh, support my work. This is it. Hit that like button if you think that video was helpful. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And I am off to sleep. Guys, thank you so much for watching.